so I'm going to go ahead and start the recording. There's also a, um, I was going to say a roll 20 room. There is a tabletop simulator room available if we need to make any rules. For some reason, I feel like maybe we will. The one thing you can't do tonight is research your opponents in your next match. All right. Uh, that is because the results of tonight may alter who your opponents in your next match are, with the exception of Spoon, whose match has already been decided with surety based on his last roll. So we find ourselves the uh, the ten gladiators or those who are in attendance entering back into the barracks where you enter a room with 13 seats, one for each of the ten gladiators. Buck and Elizabeth also have seats here and a 13th unmarked seat. Uh, this room's called the round table and it's for business meetings and for situations like this where the whole company gets together for discussions. Each of you is carrying a folder from your recent visit to Vining Engineering and Salvage Teams, the Vest, where you've recently been uh, introduced to the concept of superchargers, which I understand several of you are already planning supercharger builds. Superchargers will be added to the test menu tomorrow after uh, Kane's match, where they will it will require four two wealth investor put-ins because they need to be custom fitted to each mech. So each mech, not just the mech engine, but the mech itself has to have a custom fitted artisanally handcrafted. So they want to know that you've got the money to pay up front before you six per mech. Six wealth per mech to get to get it. No, 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 no. no, no. So it'll take four investors two wealth to unlock the option to get them. Okay. Yes. And then, and, and then on top of that, do we have to pay? On top of that, you'll have to pay whatever the cost out of supercharger which is, like is, which is six million C bills. <laughs> it's not cheap. It's not a cheap piece of technology. Yeah, that's a lot. They want to know that you've got the money. Um, I mean, eight, eight it, wealth to unlock, and then like six wealth for each one of us to put it in our mech. Friends, you have to make you have to get your investors to make decisions as to who uh, they like best. Cheers. <laughs> uh, with that for those said, who have looked at superchargers, what, how, many, how many tons does a supercharger weigh? It weighs one tenth of your engine weight. Mm. Oof. So okay. for my assault, it's, it's, I cannot hear anyone. So for my assault, it's one point five tons, and it's one crit slot, and it has to be a crit slot where your engines are. So center torso, if your standard engines any of the three torsos if you're XL. Hmm. And then it's basically the mask rules to engage supercharger. But if you fail, you take two critical hits to your engine and destroy the supercharger. Interesting. Risky biscuits. Uh, so as one oh, final piece of business... Really I need to accomplish before I let you guys go absolutely wild. Kane, uh, you get your choice of mech from the following list. Uh, SDLF Shadowhawk SHD2HB, SDLF Phoenixhawk PHX1C Special, or King Crab Star League Defense Forces Royals KGCB000B. The last one is the only assault mech on the list. Uh, I'm, which I'm, variant was the Shadowhawk? I'm sending you the list now. Okay. Is this something wanted, I need to I decide to during this meeting? Or? Yes. Okay. Um, pr probably as an assault mech weight guy. Are you? No, you're heavyweight. Oh, so you're, I'm heavy. Wow. All right. You are going to have a problem. <laughs> I'm going to have an exhibition mech. Ah, yes, of course. Um, and then as a result, because Varen can't have a new media mech bot for him, whatever media mech is left if more than one is left, he'll get to pick. Uh, he can take into the next match. Because as we all know, he is the first one to lose a mech. Uh, the final thing... Oh, and I should probably charge the investors for those purchases. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for their buys. So... Um... I was cagey at first, Glimo, about how researching your uh, your trader among the company will work. In order mm -hmm. to move that storyline ahead, each gladiator will have to attempt to research the trader at least once. And when that happens, that story will move ahead. There are other things 
that when all of you have accomplished something at least once, secret conditions will be met and unlocked, just like superchargers were unlocked for everyone having advertising. So that's all I've got. You are all in the round table room, seated around each other, friends, enemies, rivals, salamas. <laughs> Kyle wants to make sure that everybody has a drink. Okay. Did you pick a cocktail? I'm gonna say something about salami. <laughs> <laughs> salami, Seth. Right, I've heard that one. You know that sounds You're like a an opportunity right there. Maybe you should talk to Billy about his gyms. <laughs> Speaking of, you know, we are ready to move into the next phase where everybody gets to submit their own special flavor and start their own sponsorship. Want to start to share the love with the rest of y'all. Let me know if Must, you got anything spicy. The the processed meat sticks that you've created are quite tasty. That's right. <laughs> you What's a clan flavor? <laughs> Well, b before we uh, before we move into the more jovial portion of the evening, I wanted to let you all know this. And at this point, you know, Hunter pulls out the the binder of of information that he got at the end of of his last match and kind of slams it down. It's like, I know some of you have been giving me shit about this, but the curse is real, <laughs> and I've started to have some proof. It looks like one of our own is against us. One of our investors is playing both sides, betting against us in the matches. Well, being That's personally a... unaffected by this curse, I would be very interested to see what evidence you've gathered collectively. I haven't seen anything yeah. either. Crack it open. It, it's a major accusation here. I mean, is it against you or against the entire stable? It's against the stable. They are betting both sides. And I support Hunter in this claim. My mech was tampered within the match shortly after his. I had two engine crits and a gyro crit very quickly in that match. Very suspicious. I did not think yes. it would be one of our own, but the the evidence is concrete in my opinion. I believe I've suffered two through armor criticals right into my fusion engine <laughs> in two consecutive matches. That seems suspicious. Yeah, I found an SRM lodged questionably in the in my armor plating, but I've suffered no inappropriate armor penetrations up to this point. I'm assuming that they are not having us throw every match because that would lead to far too much suspicion. But it's uh, it's become obvious that they've weakened portions of our mech, especially around the center torsos. Uh, I've, I've asked Buck to try to look into things from uh, from his side and try to make sure that no one uh, un has unauthorized access to our mech base. But I'm going to need help from everyone to uh, try and find out how deep this rabbit hole goes. How do we know it's just not coincidence? Center torsos usually have the most armor replaced on a mech so it's the most it's the area that gets touched the most and it has the most chance of having a shoddy job done to it if i'm not uh, mistaken uh hunter and cosmo work on their own mechs so i think they would be able to speak for their own handiwork and i believe you meant armor. to say if you are not not am not <laughs> <laughs> So I suppose the question then for the two of you having been sabotaged is access to your mech while you're not maintaining it and possibly tamper supplies arriving. Hillbilly's been been with us as well doing yeah. investigation. Yes. He also works on his mech. Ah, exactly. We should look into the armor suppliers for the stable. I agree. We should spend a little bit of time investigating that supply chain. Let's research it. <laughs> I spend plenty of time around the barracks and walking the mech bay during matches while waiting in between matches. I, I haven't seen anyone that I haven't recognized in the stables there. I have to admit that I spend a significant amount of time outside of the stable, but I would certainly be willing to reach out and see what I could discover about the supply lines and possible tampering. 
Um, AP, is there anything that we know would know about like armor suppliers? Uh, yeah, you got you, you're the armor for your battle mechs is coming from a lot of different sources because you guys have a, a array of mechs from across the inner sphere. They require specific armor plating. There's like there's not like a universal plate that fits every battle mech. Some of you have to get Duralex Special Heavy. Some of you have to get, you know, Endo Steel plating and Ferrofibrous plating. So, Star Slab 7. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about right there. I do. <laughs> um, some of you have to get Clan plating, which, of course, isn't factory made. It's ripped off of dead battle mechs. So uh, the, the potential for it being less than a factory fresh is quite high. Uh, it literally has failed at some point to protect the object it was originally attached to. Uh, then I would like to cross-reference the material that's used on the reportedly sabotaged mechs to limit the scope of our search. Okay. Something to, uh, to keep in mind for your next match, which is tomorrow. I'm quite sure it is not Fulcher Industries. They're, they are too kind to me. They would not sabotage me. No uh, way. Is that your brain speaking or your stomach? Both. <laughs> Unfortunately, building goodwill would be a very, very strategic corporate decision when trying to place suspicion on others while committing to a sabotage-like action. I'd have to replay the tapes, but I, I believe Fulcher Industries and I has formed that relationship just after the curse was established. So it would be prior to that relationship. What better way to throw off suspicion? Suddenly approach you with... Chicken tiki marsala, yes. <laughs> Indian food and weapons. They know your weaknesses. While this conversation's going on, AP, uh, Amos is just like sending messages on his phone uh, to uh, Yuri about this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like you know, asking questions like, "Okay, so apparently there's some saboteurs around this table. We got any chatter on the street, type thing." But other than that, he's not really speaking. Oh about. yeah, he sends back a lot of messages like, "Yeah, don't worry about it. We know about that. We're looking into it. Make sure no one asks any questions." Okay. Uh, so then he uh, he just looks up from his phone and says. Now, gentlemen, obviously a situation in which we are believed to have some sort of internal problems afoot would cause a great deal of stress and unassuredness that I think would probably not be particularly helpful to us. I think it is important for us to focus on the facts of what we know rather than let our minds run wild with the questions of what we may not. So at that point, I would then ask, what is it exactly that we know? That they have been unsuccessful because I have not lost. <laughs> we are invincible, Cosmo. We all know that. <laughs> well, thank you. That is certainly a credit to your skill in the field, but Hunter, I believe you are the one who uh, has claimed to have the most uh, concrete accusations of this. Do you? What exactly do you have? Yes, let, we let's never see talked this about what paper. form my my evidence took. AP, do you did you have something in mind? Or yeah, so it's it's betting uh, patterns. And that you started noticing that companies associated with the investment companies surrounding your stable uh, have been associated with large gambling gains or massive losses on matches where sabotages occur, but you didn't lose. Interesting. Like public tax filings, essentially. So I, I uh, relay that information. All right. Well, uh -oh. I think that, uh, that that presents us with two common angles to, to approach this from without preconception. One is to 
see if we can't, if anybody has any local contacts, it would be able to trace where that money came from for those bets. Um, and the other being verifying the supply lines and seeing what Buck has to say about the physical security of our mech base. Does anyone else find it suspicious that Brody is not here for this conversation? Don't do that, man. That he is <laughs> indisposed with the uh, advertising of the uh, the new Bushwhacker line. In form of marketing opportunity. Signing opportunity. autographs. I know not of what you speak. That is what I was told. Hmm. I meant like Cosmo doesn't know what marketing is. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. So your only proof is that companies were betting against us? And the physical evidence that the three of us found as we looked at our mechs after each fight where a magic BB destroyed critical internal components the, the armor was placed just so so that about a hole like so oh i mean no offense but i've seen some of your matches i would bet against two that doesn't mean that things were sabotaged this is this is Call interesting that. karma we we just fought together <laughs> <laughs> Didn't yeah. necessarily include you. <laughs> as far as I know, you and me are the only ones with a perfect win record. Ah, music I'm, I'm also concerned about the potential sabotage blemishing my record. Yeah, I have a loss. If it's due to sabotage, that <clears throat> that's not fun. <laughs> Same here. My only loss was was when. Uh my mech was severely damaged on the first hit. That said, wouldn't the best result be to just monitor the uh, mech, our mech bays and just note who who is working on a who worked on a mech? And when a sabotage happens, then we'll be able to go from there. If if the sabotage is happening when the mech is is being repaired or refurbished yes that is the best course of action however if the we, sabotage is happening i kind prior... of point over to buck we brought in a new chief aztec and yet this continues but there's the possibility that somebody with uh that the investor has some influence over the manufacturing of some of these plates some metallurgical manipulation could weaken a plate that would otherwise appear to be proper now, stock for you now guys look install. gentlemen look I know I'm I'm a little new to all of this, but my people check out all of your armor plates. It could just be bad luck. I'm not sure I believe in the curse. Finally, some missed. sense. The, but we should the still curse do is real. Mage these fears. I, he so Buck gestures to the the things. He's just like, all I'm seeing is financial documents. I I don't get paid to look through this kind of stuff. I put next together. And I put them together well. Hey, Mr. Either quiet. way, it's... your mech was destroyed in the last in the last battle. Yeah, it's when a fifty-five ton Wolverine put its fist straight through the XL engine of the entire right side of the mech. Yes, my mech was destroyed. I do not believe that that is in any case a bit of sabotage, but rather uh, exceptional skill from. Uh, our good friends over at uh, Minxville and uh, their uh, excellent mech warriors. So Elizabeth, who is almost sleeping at this point, pokes her head up and says, speaking of, what are we doing with Minxful? I like this. It's a marketing opportunity. They're good for us. You guys hey, are kind boy, of scary and they really wait 2v2. I, they just, they level you guys out because except for, you know, the hillbilly, you guys are all psychopaths, so... Yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> what she said. <laughs> I, I feel mildly offended. Mildly. I no, no, I meant, I, I meant everyone else. You're good, too. You're good, too, Victor. Everyone <laughs> likes you. Good walk. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I, uh, I do think that the, um, uh, that the joint marketing deal over the, uh, Billy gyms has been, provided an opportunity to attach us to their positive image. Maybe we could pursue doing more well of that. Too. Absolutely. Are there any Oops. other marketable opportunities we could take a hold of to help we dividends for our shareholders? About doing a uh, ex an interstable exhibition match, light versus light, or light yeah. versus light versus light. Give them a light show. That's not really a marketing thing. Only people who watch our stable would watch that. Didn't we already do that? As as an idea. An interstable uh, light only battle royale. We could also see about doing a 2v2 where what's one of our pilots in one of Minxville's pilots on a team. I think what uh, Miss Elizabeth is referring to is out of arena opportunities. I think I'm catching on to this whole marketing concept. What if, what what if, we we start some sort of internship program for folks who could, I don't know, use use some assistance, get some upbringing, teach them a trade, perhaps it's a mech tech, perhaps it's to be a pilot one day, who knows? But I, I tell you one thing, Elizabeth needs help fast for her role. So if we start promoting, we're taking care of I don't know, upbringing children, giving them an opportunity to learn a trade, something like this. The Billy Jims will absolutely sign on to that type of program, donate a portion of the profits. I was just some kid from Montenegro before this stable took me in. I mean, shit, I'd be right in on it. Ah, uh, like case I study. I would be more than happy. I'm sorry, I don't know about ways that, of that clan go spare. The, the, the thread for this line, I'm sure that we could put one of them up. And now you say, let's bring in new random people after already suspecting the ones that you have? We're talking about kids, Karma. And? <laughs> So wait, do I misunderstand? So I, I thought he does culprit, have a point. I thought the culprit was an investor, not one of us. Is is the culprit amongst us? Someone in this room is the one. You're awfully, you're awfully. Uh, Someone hits a about button. This karma. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, I was just down in med bay. <laughs> I was so, doing wires sorry. the whole time. You're sus. But Punch Clock has like is healing up from like two black eyes uh, from about about a week and a half ago when a member of the stable decided to piss off a major house. <laughs> and he's like, "Who would do such a thing?" So I, I was scheduled to go down to the hospital and talk to the patients there in the ward. But you know, it's kind of hard to show up to the hospital when I'm already got a lump on my head. I'm a little woozy after being jumped after leaving the canopy that night. So maybe if we're going to start expanding our brand, maybe we should not maybe make such inflammatory statements against major houses. I've got it. We will recruit from the Compellent Confederation. This will be my forgiveness. <laughs> Or since we are He's looking around and just seeing like people saying saying no, He's like, okay, I mean, no. I like no. I I think there's some merit to something similar to that, with the exception of maybe Seth. The rest of us could sponsor interns that hail from our home areas. I would be more than happy to sponsor a Rasselhag orphan. Teach them the ways of Clan Ghost Bear. I, I don't think you understand, Seth. I thought we were trying to avoid inflammatory things here. Russell Hag Blood Sports does want to spot to to continue sponsoring us. I appreciate. There the is sentiment. actually a little bit. I I hate to I hate to say it that that Seth has a good idea, but there actually is some merit to that. That is not. I think they're accepted. on the opposite end of the the ghost bears. That's all I'm saying. Yes. They seem to be anti clan occupation. Well, that may be. You know, the we case, just bring them into the else. stable. You know, we keep them yeah. away from Seth, but, you know, we bring them into the stable. Would his name be Ragnar, perchance? <laughs> There's also the possibility that, depending on, on how Seth conducts himself with an intern, that could present an opportunity to show an amicable relationship between um, a youth from Russell Haig and a ghost bear in a non-oppressive relationship. There's an argument to be made that Seth could use a little bit of uh, exposure to some inner sphere, family life. <laughs> right. 
Have you not seen Seth, oh, like what's... reaching into his pocket, pulling out a bonds card at this point? <laughs> <laughs> have 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 you all seen this movie? It's from oh god, it is very old. I believe it's called Rocky Four, where if I can change, and you can change, and everybody can change. You know this. I know I'm Russian, of course, but that that man, that one man, Rocky, changed the entire country. Seth, you could be that man. You're a little bigger, but. Well, if the stable decides to enact this intern program, I would be more than happy to take part. I think in order for this to be positive as a whole, it would depend on your relationship with your intern to be a supportive, cooperative one and not one that involves the total assimilation out of his own culture. You all do not know the ways of Clan Ghost Bear. Uh, You assume, I mean, I was grown in a tube, but (laughs) I also had a mother and father and siblings as well before I was sent off to the Sibcos. Clan, Clan Ghost Bear values family highly. So... I don't know what you are all thinking, but my relationship with an intern would be uh, brotherly, perhaps, or, or fatherly, not some sort of indoctrination program that I'm sure you are all thinking of. Do you think of Hunter as your brother? Perhaps a brother you're not I fond think, of, but a brother nonetheless. I think of Hunter as a rival warrior. So respect. On respect, yeah. To an extent, yes. As much as an inner spheroid can be a rival of mine. <laughs> I think that's a compliment, Hunter. I believe so. He does well, have two kills say you respect under, under his belt. Uh, I, I do acknowledge that fact. So, like, you say that, and, like, Hunter's face goes white for a second. Then he, like, shakes a little bit and recovers. Pat you on the back. (laughs) Well, let us take a vote, then. It seems we have discussed this topic for a while. Start the intern program. I I support the idea of uh, using this internship to show that we're true to where we came from and that we are a collective stable in cooperation. Well, by the count, that's damn near unanimous. Sounds sounds like we have a new program to institute. Okay. We go. Interesting. Cosmo kind of like looks over at Elizabeth, like I did something right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would respond. I would you point gave Elizabeth out. nine new headaches. <laughs> yeah. there, there is a uh, there is an investor option to bring NPC mech warriors in. Yeah. So. Yeah. Sounds like you guys really want that. Um, at this point, Elizabeth, like, uh, puts her ponytail up and then says, Fritz, we need to talk about your image problem. Everyone keeps asking about who you really are. What are we doing in there? calling me Fritz is not going to help that. Who is, who is, wait, you are Fritz? I was like, who's Fritz? (laughs) Yeah, that took me a second. Elizabeth rolls her eyes and is just like, okay. So for those of you that don't know, Hunter McGregor is not that man's real name. Just like Brody's real name is not Brody Harrison. Wow. I know this will be a shocking deception to some of you, but uh, performers what? perform underneath stage names <laughs> all the time. I am heartbroken. Okay. <laughs> She's literally dying in her chair right now. Just like, Fritz, <laughs> figure this out. So what uh, what path would you like to pursue, Hunter, on this matter? Me. Mm far as I'm concerned, Fritz Yeager's dead and Hunter McGregor's here to stay. I think part of the challenge, at least as far as I've been able to keep track of between being drunk, has been that the legitimacy of that has been called into question. And there are people that are putting in the time to provide the receipts as it is. They'll find I think as long as there. I keep winning, people will stop looking. That I suggest you put more time in the simulators, Hunter. (laughs) 
<laughs> I was just down at the crack canopy last night. Ask Punch Clock. <laughs> you can keep running, be... but it's going to catch you. Would there be the possibility to communicate with the folks that they would be confirming this with and strike some sort of amicable deal that improves both of your images? Some kind of Highlander fundraiser or something? Yeah, to speak with uh, the other Highlanders and see whether or not you could promote for them in exchange for them claiming you as their own publicly. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. See if we can fix if those can, records. If we can just sort of simmer down the questions and take the steam out of it, it'll give you time to win your way out of questionability. I'd be uh, I'd be down for that, and there's a certain amount of uh, poetic justice from my past. Yeah, that's right or wrong. <laughs> it is not so easy to erase one's past, I would think. It might not be, but it is oh, far easier to control the flow of information. Mo money money makes it. the past go away. Mm. <laughs> yes, of course. I should have guessed. And I think that's what Solaris brings to us. It helps erase our past. I find traveling across the entire inner sphere from the periphery to be very erasing of my past. I have Some of you, it's not an option anymore. Know. I have to admit that I'm I'm trying to think of way trying to find parallels between corporate espionage and and changes of identity as I'm I am who I claim to be and I'm I still wish to help out my brothers. Well, with the success of my new clothing line, I've got a little bit of scratch to throw around. So I'm I'm happy to uh, bankroll the investment if someone will point me in the right direction. I would be willing to help you negotiate with the Highlanders to see if an amicable deal could be reached. Sounds like you're going to be very busy, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's not I called Dynamo will. for nothing. <laughs> I like a challenge. Chose that name, <laughs> and I appreciate it. I, uh, I I like that the the, the tradition is real, and and I thank you for for the name. Is there anything anybody wants to do? Any rules they'd like to make? So what, what would be required in order to do this? Uh, what would we have to try to do for roles to try to do either this internship program, the research into the the sabotage as we've discussed, or You'll have to, to do, try to do this Highlander thing? If you want to do the sabotage research, you have to do that after your matches. Okay. Uh, okay. The Highlander thing, I would invite you to explore the space here and now. Uh, Northwind Highlanders sponsor teams and maintain like a local recruiting garrison. If you'd like to head on down there um <laughs> in regards to picking up interns you'll have to not, not that any of you aren't investors but those of you that are uh i invite you to look at the option to create an npc you know list add four more mech warriors to the roster Darn. trainees Possibly. There, someone really wanted to pick up Playmaker, and somebody else wanted to pick up Smash among the investors, but there hasn't really? been any. I figured yep. Primo would be the, the... Primo has a team that he's happily attached <laughs> no, to. No, I thought, I thought, I thought <laughs> Sergei would be a, would be a big... Uh, I have not heard any chatter all. about Sergei yeah. yet. <laughs> he's still he's an independent operator, yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. He's also the most popular NPC. <laughs> yeah, and we're good people, friends. People Just love Clan Wolf. At least I think so. <laughs> True, Clan Wolf, as we all know, are the true protagonists. Mm -hmm. They always win. <laughs> They're the New York Yankees of Battletech. Wow, <laughs> that helps. <laughs> I didn't think about cha challenging Sergei. <laughs> to what? I don't know. He I'd pilots a Timber Wolf. I would take, I would take step all three of my light mechs. <laughs> take all three light mechs against him. Oh yeah. <laughs> when, whenever he destroys one, you get out. You move just, to the uh, next yeah. one. Yeah, assuming assuming Kyle's I don't know. Still alive. I don't think you'll get past long range. No, there's no way. <laughs> Would not. 
It would just create more fun interstable. It rivalries. would be a pretty <laughs> interesting. It would also be extremely costly to repair afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. That would be. I see you, ferryman, losing one mech. I lost three in one match. <laughs> <laughs> it would be an impressive bit of one of <sighs> Well, shoot, who's good? who wants to roll down to the Northwind barracks and have a conversation? I uh, I committed to helping Hunter. Right, it's well. probably a good idea if Cosmo's not there. <laughs> Same with Seth. I don't think seem to be diplomatic in this group. I, I can join y'all. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so in the end, who is going to the Northwind Highlanders recruiting office? I'll go. I see three hands. All right. So, uh, when you enter, it's like you've been transported to the magical land of Scotland. But Scotland of the future, if you've never actually been to Scotland, and no one you know has been there for a thousand years, but it's a rich part of your history, so there's lots of kilts, and it's like an Ikea where out front, it's got like a food court where it's like haggis and other traditional Scottish meals, um... Billy is immediately wandering over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're noticed as soon as you walk in, Hunter McGregor. Pretty much everybody here who knows who you are, and they're giving you the eye that indicates they wish you'd explode and die on the spot. <laughs> so kind of how, how Seth looks at him sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so Kyle, someone approaches a young woman with a clipboard who says, ah, are you looking to sign up with the Northwind Highlanders, or perhaps you'd like to be sponsored in the games? I do have questions about sponsorship and possible legitimate membership with the Highlanders. She looks at your companion and says, it's rather difficult to be a legitimate member when you lie about it all the time. But That's true. But I think there, I, I think given some time, uh, and the immense personal respect for the Highlanders, I think there is a very strong desire to rectify that lie and try to turn it into a truth. Sorry, are you signing up for the Highlanders or is he? I'm hoping to find a, a path forward for uh, for Mr. McGregor. Right. And I depending on how McGregor. some of these... Yes. I think you'll need to talk to my supervisor's supervisor. I look forward to meeting more Highlanders. So she like gestures to uh, the hillbilly who's like at the end of the line animatedly looking over, you know, a menu that involves a lot of liver based. <laughs> I'm already holding a piece of black pudding. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you collect your companion and uh, I'll take you to one of our confidence rooms in the back until we can find someone who can talk to you. Understood. Uh, and I will go and I will gather and I will sit. All right. I will stuff a few snacks in my pockets and follow. <laughs> Can't wait for the meeting with Clan Karen of the Clan of Karens. Wow. <laughs> wow. No, Hunter, that's not going to help you here. <laughs> but Kyle will, get, will grab himself a drink of some kind and sit down and he'll just... He'll he'll look at Hillbilly and just subconsciously looking at his appearance will just start adjusting his tie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so they take you to a conference room where there's a pitcher of water and glasses, but also a bottle of Drambuie. Uh, for you to p pick your particular choice and maybe like one of the hotel ice things so you can get ice for it out. <laughs> um, there's also it's it's like a tapas or a smorgasbord, but it's all like, um, what's that bird that they eat a shit ton of? Uh, grouse and deep fried Mars bars, which are a Scottish tradition which has survived over a thousand years into the future. <laughs> I'll be trying these Mars bars as this is a new experience for You'll me. You'll have to tell me what they taste like because I've never had a deep fried Mars bar. <laughs> me neither, but I'm going to pretend Kyle like enjoys it. The State Fair in Minnesota. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, how specific. exactly like the state fair. Well, I have to say, I have had state fair food before, and while it usually tastes excellent, it's always terrible for you. Yes, yes but the state fair in Minnesota, you can get deep fried candy bars and deep fried butter. Wow. 
Yeah. Also, the State Fair in Kansas also serves those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. It's like we've got a slice of American here. <laughs> um, a man enters. He looks like he's in his late 40s, starting to go gray in the beard. He's wearing tartan sash and kilt, and he's carrying a broadsword on his back. And uh, he has the patch for, I think it's the Fusiliers on his uh, unit patch and he says so Fritz Jaeger you finally decided to show the fuck up uh I'll, when he walks in the room I'll stand up and yeah, sit the fuck shake down is, is there's this, no reason is, for this is, conversation is this, is this someone that my dad used to work for probably <laughs> <laughs> like I actually know this guy and I just kind of give him the sigh Could be. oh hi Uncle Owen <laughs> look <laughs> you're not a member of the Northwind Highlanders and lying about it well, it's not a legal crime in any sense, but we've got a pretty fucking big problem when you pretend to be a Northwind Highlander in our own fucking territory. You well, don't have that you honor. You never served. If you let me join legitimately when I was a lad, then we wouldn't be having this conversation now, well, would we? Oh, we're but gonna no, go you back that down far, on my German huh? heritage. You said I was a dirty Lyran, and you and and you kicked my ass out. I was good enough. To, my dad and I were good enough to work on your mix, but not good enough to 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 ride in the lance. Huh? Look, I'm not gonna rehash the entire details of your personal history in front of your entire stable here. <laughs> These two fine gentlemen. It would be a waste of our time, and I know it's a Scottish tradition to do such grousing with each other. But I'm a little bit busy because I'm running a fucking mercenary operation on one of the biggest planets in the inner sphere. While the fucking Comstar's interiorly exploding and Hans Davian falling over dead. Who knows what their contracts are going to end up fucking looking like. Victor Ian and Steiner and Davian, I'm doing I don't know, is fucking Prince winning Victor. and giving you good press. Gentlemen, perhaps <laughs> given that there are clear grievances of the past here, we can seek to mend those by building a better path forward than where we currently are. Who the fuck are you? Pleased to meet you. My name is Kyle Morgan. Yes, but who are you? He is the money. Oh. Well, I assure you, you might think you have money, but you don't have we own an entire fucking planet money. No, I don't, and I don't presume to have the same level of responsibility you do. That's true, because we're the fucking inheritors of the fucking Star League. You might have heard of us. The Northwind Highlanders. We yes, have a mech and, named after us. And with such an amazing history and prestige, it would be a shame for somebody to continue to falsely claim when there could be an opportunity for them to legitimately promote the Highlanders and continue to spread that legacy. You know it, what? That... You make an excellent point. So I'll tell you what, Mechadigger. If you at some point choose to engage one of our stable sponsored stable champions in the feats of strength i might recognize you as being capable of joining the highlanders and claiming what you consider to be a birthright and i consider to be a higher honor than you'll ever earn you lazy sack of bones Name the time and the place. You name the time and the place. I'm fucking busy. <laughs> How Man, soon? What I'm saying is, after your next match, make a roll to set it up. Hillbilly dies when he says that. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> falls out of his chair. <laughs> you want to engage in the feats of strength? You're going to be tossing cabers getting into mech fist fights and just so we're really clear your match will be weapons disabled which means it'll be physical attacks only and if you can defeat a northwind highlander in a highlander in the arena like that i'll consider your application fritz jaeger and maybe we'll help you out with the problem that you've been fucking lying about who you are it's on yeah We'll see about that. Then he slams the bottle of Drambuie down and says, It's on the house. Take it with you. And anything you want after the food court. Nice to meet the two of you. Fuck off, Fritz. 
Have a great day. <laughs> Pleasure. That was awesome. He slams the door shut behind him on the Amazing. way out. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so what's? Well, I guess what's he I leaves loved that so much. That was fantastic. Seriously. Uh, so yep. once once he leaves, uh, Kyle will turn to to Hunter. I believe we have achieved exactly what we came here to do. You have an yeah. opportunity. And I appreciate the help. Yeah. Because I'll see a bridge here. Just don't burn seen, it. <laughs> that's the reception that I got all, all through growing up trying to do this legit. So I well, definitely appreciate you being here and of course making and, the deal happen. And when you succeed at the challenge, perhaps that will give you path to clear some of this up and have a more amicable relationship with your past. And let me know if I can ever return the favor for you. Oh, you, I will. <laughs> would you like a beret with a, with a kilt pin? <laughs> oh, I think there's a. I let's let's let you claim your heritage oh, before oh, we start worrying about me feathers? being part of it. <laughs> Cufflinks that light That's up. Smart. <laughs> a, AP, before this yep. gets any further, I just want to say you make a great asshole. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Because at the end he said, "Take whatever else you want." I imagine Hilbo is just like, "Oh, okay." Just oh, like one hundred percent. Grab pockets. the bottle by the neck. Yep. Like every pocket is full. I'm stopping by the food court. I'm gonna see if they've got any of those like you know reusable bags that you can take with you. Like start pulling that. <laughs> we sell pants or kilts with more pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get a tactic kilt. Utila kilts. There we go. <laughs> Do you have anything in denim? Hunter McGregor new line of clothing, the Utila kilt. It, it's a real thing. <laughs> yeah, no, they make them like hybrids. I have somewhere in a box attack the kilt. It's multi cam with cargo pockets. It's ludicrous. I was going to say, it. you put tactical bacon in it and you got every tactical bacon, Swiss Army knife, you're done. Good to go. It's uh, McGurk approved. <laughs> got, it's got pockets yeah, for there hot dogs. Go. There we go. Hot dog dispenser. How yeah. does everybody have these things? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I've never even heard of them, and everybody in the call is like, "Yeah, I have one too." I believe it's very <laughs> freeing experience, Arthur. A very freeing experience. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have a tact kilt, but I do have an actual kilt. Mm. But because uh, I, I am actually like I am Scottish Irish. Cool. So, but. Oh, I'm totally a poser. I'm only not wearing because I, I figured you couldn't see me from the waist down so on the call. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. We don't need to see you from the waist down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In any circumstance. So uh, is, I worked is the Hunter... Fair circuit for 10 years. I know all the Scottish kilt jokes. <laughs> so that we have is, uh, Hunter is our only assault pilot. Correct. Yeah. So if we wanted to have the option to do duos or things like that, then I would need to pick the king crab so there could be another assault Correct. for exhibition. All true. And we have multiple mediums, so there's at least that going. Yeah. So I think I will take the king crab. All right. <sighs> well, you now have a Star League Royal 000B. Oh, my God. It, oh. it comes. I was so lusting after that the whole time. I'm like, I'm the only assault pilot, and I know someone bought a crab, king crab. No. <laughs> it comes in Star League Royals die, colors. But uh, I feel like I can't be mad because you guys just got my real Highlanderness. <laughs> and now we can. Now I can exhibition. We can do. We can, you've got more options. There you go. Uh, Baron for Amos, would you like the Shadowhawk 2B or the Phoenix Hawk 1C special? For your next I match. will take the uh, the Star League Shadowhawk. That is okay. the Royal Shadowhawk, right? Uh, let me look. It's the two HB. Yeah, yeah that that is the Royal. Yeah, HB uh, yep. SLDF Royal. Yeah, it's yeah, also it, painted. It got, yeah, it's yeah, uh, the LB10 in the shoulder and everything. Yep. Streak, LB10, uh, two streak twos, two medium lasers. Yep. Uh, yeah. Double heat sinks case. I think endo steel, steel and ferrofibrous. Yep. You. Yep. The Royal. The Royal's got all the neat. The neat. Uh, neat tricks. Yeah. And to be clear, I will not be modifying that. If I if I do get the the Tomahawk Shadowhawk, that's going to be a new Shadowhawk okay. with upgrades. I'm not going to touch a Star League mech. That's sacrilege. You're not McGurkin it? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a PR nightmare. Amos is not down for that. Um, AP. Yep. Oh, they're doing that. 
is there anything that I could do to get like extra like cameras in the mech bay? Yes. Yeah. No, nope. you could just like order them up. It or, is going uh, to annoy your technical staff knowing that they're constantly on camera, but I don't <laughs> care. I understand. I will even put smile you're on camera signs around. <laughs> <laughs> they will Oh my god. They will you're be on candid printed camera. on okay. paper and written in comic sans. Beneath it is a sign <laughs> saying, remember, don't touch discuss your salary with your coworkers. <laughs> yep. He's named Karma. I, I, I first like literally the keeping owl, track. The owl eyes that constantly look at you when you walk by. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, is there anything anyone else wants to do or any matches you'd like to try to set up? Uh, if I not, want to do I... the light, the light exhibition. I know we talked about it in discord a few times. So the one thing to remember is that as excited as you guys are to have matches together, your schedules also need to overlap. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it. That's all I had to say. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, was quiet after the schedule. <laughs> I'm pretty flexible usually. My my next match is set, so Correct. my rolls will have to come at another time. Uh, I have a pretty shitty schedule, so I'm probably difficult to plan with. Just to note, if you don't want to set up an extra match in the immediate future, I know what your next matches will be, if you'd like to know that now. Uh, if you tell us we don't like it, can we change it? No. <laughs> so how would guess? <laughs> How would guest commentating work for Punch Clock? Would Could, you like to guest commentate on an upcoming match? If uh, by being the uh, annoying fanboy, I could <laughs> help uh, the uh, initiative process for my stable. Oh, interesting. interesting. I don't know if you still. I don't think your. I don't think the archetype still has that power anymore. I might have removed it. It's it. I. I it's different. I think. Yeah, yeah, so let's see here. But well, you uh, could read stats from the wiki. That's true. You could <laughs> just read yeah. the wiki. It's got a whole lot easier. What do you think I'm thinking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to make up stuff off the top of my head now. Uh, so you now get the lucky SPA, and that's what all it does. Uh, it doesn't mm. do the thing where if you list people off. I do have. A, I mean, Kyle would never research his next opponent because he's because he's Kyle. Yes. But I would it? Him. But would it affect things for you? I don't have I your decided... match yet because you you have to finish your match tomorrow. Right. Would it affect my match tomorrow for you if I decided to use my other Marauder, which is no. literally half the battle value? <laughs> you will almost certainly get demolished. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> uh so for this next round i'm setting i'm just setting opponents based on your guys's usual mechs and if you bring unusual things it will throw the match off and that's just how life works mm -hmm. um I've what been, is cosmo's usual mech the fire starter the fire starter so i've been adapting to your guys's choices but i realize that that's a little unusual so i think there might be some lag time before your opponents catch up with that uh which might make Seth's next battle very interesting given that <laughs> he'll be rolling out a timber wolf which is quite different than Ooh, his usual yeah. um mm -hmm. scary guess commentating huh let's take a look at Seth, does that mean you're moving you're moving uh weight classes uh tim timber wolf timber wolf's a heavy timber wolf's oh, okay. the highest end of heavy yeah uh -huh. seven seventy five instead of seven it's like it should be that heavy assault. <laughs> i mean it's got the it's got the battle value of an assault like yeah I think it'd be I, I I would be interested. I have a very easy schedule to work with. I'd be interested in either doing like a two v two with South or using the King Crab to do a two v two with Hunter. Uh, looks I've like you and Seth could schedule. match up on uh, and Wednesday afternoon. Like. Yeah, and we are the two pilots using Clan Tech. Yeah. Uh, so it wouldn't be this round because Seth already has a match, but he could duo with you after his match would you be interested absolutely cool. sounds like you'll need to make a roll at the end of your next match kyle morgan Set i will make up. a note that's good that's good i'm also and i will save my edge for it because we know i need it <laughs> <laughs> i thought everyone loves jumping in with lights but uh my availability is basically five to seven for anyone uh east coast time for anyone who is looking for something like that 
I've got but a plan. Five to seven most nights I could I could work with. Yeah, same here. I, uh, yeah, I need to level up first. Because <laughs> <laughs> I I fucked up my setting up a match roll, so I, I have to I have to level before I can try and pull anybody else out. But if, but the the three of us mech techs all have a light mech so if we yeah, wanted to do either a, a you know 1v1 a you know a 2v2 or a 1v1v1 with with our stock mechs with yeah, our exactly. stock yeah. mechs i mean is there a, an open stock mech exhibition type thing that goes on in the categories uh no no solaris says a lot about uh customization got it um so then to list your next couple of matches, because there's some important stuff happening. The Ferryman, you will be having a rank battle to hold on to rank 95. If you lose, you'll be bumped out of rank 98 of 100. Okay. Uh, Cosmo, your next match is a rank battle to you and your competitor will battle to take rank 87. Uh, Seth, you have a special battle, which I've been laughing about for an entire week and will continue laughing until it's over. Probably <laughs> And I still to get to know nothing. Yep, that's <laughs> try rolling better than a six, buddy. <laughs> uh, Hunter, you'll be engaging in a rank battle for rank 90, and the Hillbilly, you'll be engaging in a rank battle for rank 85. All of these are within your own oh, divisions, man. and nice. all of them will take part in an official Solaris Arena, so one of the five big ones. Okay. Your mechs will also be checked out for any illegal technology. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's that's targeted just at Cosmo. <laughs> that's because Cosmo's the only criminal here. <laughs> Whatever it takes to win, baby. Cosmo's so, not a criminal. Does somebody yet. have illegal technology? <laughs> yeah, we'll be yeah. illegal yeah. in the Solaris pits. Cosmo oh, has a C three okay. computer that he uses to hack into the. Gotcha. That's the, right. The question is, Got would it. Cosmo know this going into the fight? Like, Probably did I tell him don't that it's this illegal? Shit yes. Okay. Man, doing okay. that exact thing is definitely not legal. <laughs> So you're saying I probably shouldn't also look into the, uh, what was it, the gangster one where you can bribe the refs and get them minus, minus one to guttery for a month? <laughs> that doesn't sound illegal. Okay. Can, uh, can you bri can, can Is there something that you can do to hide the C3? No. Mm -hmm. they, bribe, they go over officials. your entire mech to make sure that when it walks in, one, it won't explode, two, it's the thing that you say it is, and three, there's nothing illegal about it. That just sounds like you just need more bribes. Got a yeah. got a dead ton. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't, I don't know I don't know how uh, Gray Noten got the Legend Killer into all of his matches. Then, <laughs> <laughs> what was wrong with it? It wasn't a fucking rifleman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was... <laughs> wasn't it? Not not after not after he brought back uh, Rifleman Two from the periphery. I mean, come on now. That's bait. It's still a rifleman niche. Yeah, and, and, and technically, nobody really knows. Because <laughs> so nobody's get, come out and said anything. So if I get the 45 ton fireman, can I keep using that in place? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. All right. Any closing thoughts? So uh, did you open it up for us to be able to just start announcing our own Billy Jim flavors? Yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You, please. Fantastic. Perfect. Pagas flavored Billy Jims. Yeah, I mean, you know, Kyle, Kyle Morgan. I feel like William Jim about the Billy Billy Jim Prime cuts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, only the best, thicker, juicier. Bring out your inner William Wallace with your William Jim. It's me, Hunter McGregor. <laughs> He's holding a broadsword made of Billy Jim. <laughs> yes. Highland honey flavor. Excellent. Tastes like home. I believe that's Highland Haggis flavor. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> all right gentlemen this has been a treat i'm glad we did this hopefully we can get all 10 of our 10 next time and uh yeah i'll see you in 30 to 31 days for the next meeting uh just a reminder the uh the menu will reset in exactly one week next thursday uh Woo! because that'll be the 15th and all the options will reset and someone can buy varin as mech Unless get, somebody get snipes hotels. the medium option right before yeah. him. Oh, yeah, and the hotels, the recreational activity. I'm still rocking that stress. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. All right. Thank you for joining you me. Gotta, you got to learn to say something controversial.
Yeah. Well, it's it's hard. Hard. <laughs> Just think about what AP and I said in our scene right there. All yeah, that, that was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just read off of the list of this controversial talk. I sit in awe. <laughs> or, you know, just secretly be a spy for the mafia, and every time you do a job for them, you lose stress. <laughs> I, I did love how it not even planned. I had three controversial statements followed by a guaranteed victory. And the very next opponent did the exact same thing. <laughs> <sighs> Perfect. At the stage. Oh yeah. Um, the Mascarova wants to talk to you, by the way. Shit. Yeah. We'll talk about it in your next match. <laughs> <laughs> or ending that's on a happy a, note. I feel like that's, that's the last thing that happens is that someone what arrives <laughs> in a business suit with with like uh, something written in like formal Cantonese indicating they would like you to come down to the local Maskarovka office for a very public exterior focused chat outside the building and like a nearby park with lots of people around. Just Very to assure high, you that, yeah, that you'll high, be safe. High buildings with windows. <laughs> yeah, someone's gonna grab one of those cameras and just bring it with him the whole way. Amos hey, right. isn't invited. He's probably thinking, it's, this is about the investors. It, uh, not the investors, the in, uh, intern program. It must be. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's exactly like Kyle, Kyle says, Amos isn't invited because they know he carries a gun. <laughs> um, yeah, and Salty Maker, just let us know about your availability in the cast channel, and maybe we get you in as a guest commentator for a match. Same thing to you, Mark. Oh my gosh, I would love, I would love that. That was yeah. my favorite part of the Irby Derby. I will think about <laughs> allowing you to hype up your your fellow stablemates for a bonus to initiative. I, we don't have to. Just it'd be funny. That's it. All. Would be funny. <laughs> Especially if you brought up things that were true, like things that had actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it for I, us. You know, I would feel super bad if you if we had scheduled all this and it was for Hunter's last match. <laughs> 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 Round two. Yeah. Oh, oh well.